Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you using data notions how to validate the MVC controls on client side. Now the first condition, if a user click the registration button without enter any values and see here, we got the validation errors. Now enter the username. I'm entering C. The age is 15 enter email the password and I'm checking mail the terms and conditions also I'm checking when I click registration see here we got the we need to use the email ID at gmail.com when I click registration still we got the username must have maximum length 7 and minimum length 3. So I am adding Charan my name and the age must be between 18 and 40. So here I am adding 28. The password at least 8 characters and must have one alphabet and one number. I am entering A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and number 1. And in the re-password, I'm entering the same password A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, 1. When I click registration, see, all the validation errors are gone. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web and the .NET Framework 4.6.1. The application name is MVC User Registration Form. User Registration. Click OK. And I'm choosing MVC for template. Click OK. And the project has successfully created. Let's close this window. Go to Solution Explorer. And now in this project, I'm creating a class in the models folder. Right click models, add class. And the class name, validate class. Click add. Now in this newly created validate class, I am creating some public properties. Public string username get set. Public int age get set public string email get set public string password get set public string read password get set public string gender get set and the last public property I'm creating the boolean data type for terms and conditions public bool data type terms and conditions get set after adding a properties in this class I need the validation controls for that the first thing we need to import the component model data inertions class using system dot component model dot data inertions now I can access the data annotation attributes to validate the MVC controls. 
string name required let's copy this add all display name display name is equals to enter user name which is a label after adding the label now I'm adding a string length to the username maximum and minimum length to enter the values string length see the first one is a maximum length maximum length 7 comma minimum length must be 3 if a user enter the username less than 3 characters it will display the error message comma error message is a string username must have must have max length 7 and min length which is minimum 3 display name display name is equals to enter age Now I am validating the age, the user must be more than 18 years or less than 40 years. Range, minimum 18 years the user must be and the maximum 40 years. If a user age is less than 18 or greater than 40 years, it will display error message. age must be between 18 and 40 display name is equals to enter email which is a label email address error message enter the proper email address display name is equals to enter password data type data type dot password regular expression for the password and this regular expression for the password the password length must be at least eight characters minimum and also one alphabet and one numeric value come on error message which is a string password must contain at least eight characters and must have one alpha alphabet and one number display name is equals to enter read password which is a label I'm just copying this data type
and the last attribute I'm using the compare data annotations for the re-password. So I'm comparing compare between double quotes password. So the password and re-password must be same. display name is equals to enter your gender and require error message is equals to gender is required And the last attribute is the terms and conditions which is a checkbox control and the data type is a boolean. Display name is equals to terms and conditions. Range type of and this type of is a data type which is boolean bool comma the second parameter the boolean means true or false but in this condition I am using both true true error message accept the terms of terms of services after adding the properties and the data annotations in this class validate class go to solution explorer I am creating a new controller in the controllers folder right click the controller add controller and I'm choosing MVC for controller empty click add the controller name is a validate click add and we got the controller validate also here the first thing I'm importing the model class using the project name is MVC user registration MVC user registration dot models and this action result index method is the get so we need to post the data to validate the controls so I'm creating the new index HTTP post let's copy this one test here HTTP post now in this action result we need to add the class name validate class VC after adding the action result index for HTTP post right click the index add view the view name index I'm leaving as it is because of my action result is index only and the template I'm creating the model class which is validate class this one just click add and here we got our view page which is index.cshtml and what I'm doing I'm deleting this validate class and I'm making user registration and instead of h4 headers I am making this h1s now come to the bottom in the gender I want to make this the radio buttons but this one is the editor file which is a text box control I'm just deleting this header for editor file sorry but I'm not deleting any validation messages only the editor file 
at html dot label mail at html dot radio button for model model dot gender which is a property name comma between double quotes I'm adding M let's copy this this year instead of male I'm adding female and this one capital F now the last property is the terms and conditions and this control also the same editor for and I want to add the checkbox control just delete this one add html dot checkbox for model model dot the terms and condition which is a property name just add here and here the div class checkbox I don't know how it's added just do it I'm deleting that one now the submit button I want to change the name to registration that's it in the index view page the last one before run this application we need to change the road config files solution explorer expand the app underscore start road config dot cs open that one and notice here the controller name is the home but our controller name is the validate so go to validate our controller name is the validate controller name delete the home and add the validate and the second one is the action which is the index I don't need to change anything because our action result is the index only this one the view page switch back to index.cshtml let's run this application in the Google Chrome we'll check the results and here we got the final output on the browser user registration username age email password and re password and check the gender is radio buttons male and female the terms and conditions is a checkbox control now the first condition if a user click the registration button without enter any values and see here we got the validation errors now enter the username I'm entering C the age is 15 enter email the password and I'm checking mail the terms and conditions also I'm checking when I click registration see here we got the we need to use the email ID at gmail.com when I click registration still we got the username must have maximum length 7 and minimum length 3 so I'm adding Charan my name and the age must be between 18 and 40 so here I'm adding 28 the password at least 8 characters and must have one alphabet and one number I'm entering A B C D E F G H and number 1 and in the re password I'm entering the same password A B C D E F G H 1 and I click registration see all the validation errors are gone that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos